Okay, everyone, uh, just a little quick hint here on uh, using uh, Blender 2.5 and Unity uh, 3.0. Let's see here about Unity. Yes, Unity version 3.1. Um, the import function on Blender has uh, been changed a bit, so there's a few things you're going to have to know. Uh, here's the game I've been working on. Uh, I've already released it for the iPad, Dragon Wars. And I have a new character here, a new hero character that I want to uh, add. And um, I found out that in my past video, you could just save your Blender file and the uh, importing was done for you in the background, okay? Uh, but that is not quite the case now. You're going to have to do a little bit more work with the newest versions of Unity and Blender, okay? So if you look here, here in Unity, okay, uh, you'll see the, um, you'll see kind of like two files here. I've already exported uh, from Blender to the correct format, the FBX format. You'll see here, if you, you'll see these uh, two files here, okay? So here's my character's name is Gothmog. Actually, there's these extras here. I think those are from, uh, some prior version or something. But you'll see here this one that looks like a white piece of paper. Okay, that's your actual Blender file. And this one here that looks sort of like the prefab um, icon, the actual cube, blue cube, uh, that is the version that you're gonna want to actually use in your, your um, Unity program. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. All right, so if we take this Blender file here and just drag it in, you'll see that nothing happens, it snaps back. Okay, you have to actually physically uh, manually export uh, from Blender using the FBX exporter. Okay, so here's our character, and um, let's just go ahead and go to File, Export, uh, Autodesk, Autodesk FBX. If you don't see this Autodesk FBX in here, go into your user preferences and make sure that you have all the add ons checked in here. Go to Import, Export. Um, it doesn't look like you need to uh, to do that to enable it, but just in case, make sure it's you know if there is an FBX thing, make sure it's checked. Okay, um, so go to File, Export, FBX. Okay, and then you can give it a name. All right, uh, and then there's a bunch of options here. And before I do this, there's a couple things I want you to be aware of. I was going to show you how to screw things up on purpose, but I don't want to overwrite my character that I've already uh, correctly exported. Uh, first thing is, you should select everything that you want to export. So, for example, um, you should select the mesh, you should, you should select the armature. Uh, you could also select the lights and uh, camera and stuff, uh, and then they would all be imported as well. If you don't want those, or you don't need those for some reason, just select the mesh and the armature and, and everything should be fine. If you don't select these things, when you import your FBX uh, file into uh, Unity, you'll just get like an empty object uh, with nothing in it. Uh, it will import, but there won't be anything to, to see. And of course, that's the whole point is to bring your character in there. The other thing to be aware of is when you go to File, Export, FBX, okay, there's a few options over here and you have to make sure that a few of these things are checked, okay? This rotate uh, 90x, y, z, that um, you could check or uncheck depending on which way you want the character to be facing when he first comes in. Uh, the scale, you can scale the object. Of course, when you bring it into Unity, you can, you can rescale it anyway, but uh, you can have it set to a certain scale. I found that the scale of one for my personal uses so far has been kind of small, so I set to a scale of 10, for example. All right, uh, You could set to whatever is appropriate for your scene. The other thing is, make sure that the, the types of objects that you want to export are checkmarked here. And finally, if you have animation, make sure enable animation is checked. And also, if you have multiple actions, uh, make sure that all actions are checked. So, for example, in your action editor here, as I've shown you in some previous uh, tutorials, you can have multiple actions in the same scene, same Blender file, and then, of course, you can access all those actions via scripting, and uh, it's very easy to blend between them. So, uh, for the purposes of an animated character, you're probably going to want to have that checked. All right, so let's go over again 
in, in summary, what we need to do to do this. Okay, so the first thing we have to remember is we now have to actually manually export the FBX file. We have to select everything that we want exported in the scene. Uh, when we do export, be aware of the scale. Be aware of what is checked that we want, you know, armatures, meshes, things like that. Make sure that all these things, anything that you want uh, to be exported is checkmarked. If you have animation, enable animation, checkmark that. And if you have actions, as you can see, it does not accept, it does not keep that option checked for you. Make sure that all actions is checked if you want to use the actions from the action editor. Okay, once you've gone and done that, uh, when you come back to Unity, you just see your little cursor spin as though it's it's importing this stuff. And then you'll see the uh, file like this, and when you drag him in here, as you can see, when I originally uh, exported this guy, I did it at a scale of 1. That's why he's kind of small. All right. And I've shown you before, he'll come in here, and you won't actually see the texture attached to him. So it's very simple. You just um, go ahead and, and drag the texture file that you have and just drag it onto there, okay? And then he's ready to roll. He's ready to uh, start uh, using as a, a, a full-fledged Unity uh, object. All right, so that is how to uh, import uh, Blender files using the newest versions, at least at the time of this recording. Unity 3. Point, I'm using Unity 3.1. And I am using Blender 2.55 at this time. All right, so that option works for these uh, versions of the software at this time.